Hello, bonjour, bienvenue, and welcome to beautiful Brockville, Ontario, also known as Brock Vegas, the city of the Thousand Islands, and my home. My name is Cameron Wales, I'm 21 years old, and I'm from right here in, objectively speaking, the best city in Canada. Brockville is a city of 21,000 people, located just one hour south of our nation's capital between Cornwall and Kingston on the shores of the mighty St. Lawrence River. Indigenous peoples lived here for thousands of years before the arrival of European settlers in the late 1700s. The Thousand Islands were once home to the St. Lawrence Iroquoians and later members of the Iroquois First Nations Confederacy, including the Mohawk people. The St. Lawrence River is a central part of Brockville's history. It was the economic engine of the city for many years and continues to play an important role to this day. William Buell is credited with founding the city, settling here in 1785 when the area was still called Elizabethtown. The city was renamed Brockville in 1812 to honor British Major General Sir Isaac Brock, a hero of the War of 1812, and the city incorporated in 1832. Because of these historic roots, Brockville is now home to dozens of unique heritage buildings. Brockville has been a railway town since the 1850s, when it became a major stop on the line between Montreal and Toronto. Brockville also has Canada's oldest railway tunnel, which opened in 1860 to serve waterfront industries. The tunnel will reopen in August of this year, as part of Canada's 150th birthday celebration. Brockville is also home to the beautiful Aquatarium, a maritime discovery centre located right in the heart of the downtown on the shores of the St. Lawrence River. The Aquatarium is a place where Canadians, and especially youth, can discover the St. Lawrence River and the Thousand Islands region. The centre features a variety of exhibits, including a ropes course, a boat simulator, and these adorable river otters. Performance and visual arts are an integral part of Brockville's culture. Youth-led projects include a number of local murals, the Brockville Women's Memorial, and a diverse range of performing arts productions. I'm standing here at the historic Brockville Art Centre, the stage that has played host to incredible community theatre groups, amazing professional entertainers, and most importantly, talented young people who sing, dance, and act their way into the hearts of their audiences. Among the groups that have shared this space, which opened as a theatre in 1880, are college and high school musical theatre classes, the annual Lions Club Music Festival, and a host of local dance troupes. And that's Brockville. But you haven't seen everything. There's always more to discover, and I hope you'll come back soon. Thanks for visiting.